Hi viewers, today in Optics for Optometry segment, we are going to discuss on Snellen chart and what is Snellen fraction. Almost in all eye clinics, visual acuity is tested using Snellen chart. So we should know everything about Snellen chart. In this video, we are going to discuss in detail about Snellen chart. Snellen chart is used to test minimum legible acuity. Minimum legible task is one type of visual acuity classification. Minimum legible task is done when complex patterns such as letters or numerals are used as test stimulus. To know more about visual acuity and its classification, please watch my previous video on visual acuity. Visual acuity is tested monocularly, that is by covering one eye, patient is asked to read the letters from top to bottom. Whichever small line they are reading, that line is recorded as the eye's visual acuity. So if the patient is reading this line, 6 by 9 is recorded as the visual acuity. If the patient is able to read till this line, 6 by 24 is recorded as the visual acuity. Next, we should know what is optotypes. Targets used in Snellen charts for measuring visual acuity, that is, the letters should follow a specific design. These specially designed test targets are called optotypes. One Snellen optotype, that is, the whole letter subtends 5 minutes of an arc at the retina. The detail that is either a stroke or a gap is called the detail in this optotype. This stroke or a gap subtends 1 minute of an arc at the retina. So the dimension of overall Snellen optotype is 5 times the detail. So if the gap is 1 minute, the whole letter is 5 times this 1 minute. So it is totally 5. In the previous video, we were discussing about minimum angle of resolution. Minimum angle of resolution of the eye is 1 minute of an arc. We discussed in that video how minimum angle of resolution is used to find the gap width of a letter and using that we also found the size of 6 by 6 letter which is 8.7 mm. Using the same method, we can also find the size of the next line 6 by 7.5 which is 13.1 mm. Same way, the size of all other letters in the other lines can be found. By calculating using that method, all the letters in the chart is found and the chart is constructed. To know more about minimum angle of resolution, watch my previous video. Now, how do we record visual acuity? When a patient comes with fever, the doctor checks the temperature and records the temperature in degrees. Same way, visual acuity is recorded in fraction. It is called Snellen fraction. Snellen fraction is recorded like this, 6 by 6, 6 by 12, 6 by 30, etc. This tabular column shows the dimension that is height of the letter at 6 meter distance in millimeter. The next two column shows the designation of the letter that is metric Snellen acuity and English Snellen acuity. Metric Snellen acuity is in meter and English Snellen acuity is in feet. When we convert 6 meters to feet, it will be converted to 20. We usually use metric Snellen acuity to record the vision. Now let us discuss in detail about Snellen fraction. What is this Snellen fraction? Let us take the example 6 by 60. Let us see what the numerator is and what the denominator is. This numerator 6 is the testing distance. This numerator will always be 6. Why it is 6? This is because we have to test the visual acuity at infinity. So in a clinical environment, 6 meter is considered as optical infinity. So the numerator is 6. If we cannot place the chart at 6 meter, we can place it at 4 meter or 3 meter. Then the numerator will be 4 or 3. But finally, for standardization, we have to convert it into 6 meter and record the visual acuity. Now, coming to the denominator. Denominator, we have to concentrate and understand properly. In this visual acuity 6 by 60, 60 is the designation of the smallest line red. Whichever small line the patient is able to read, it is the designation of that line. 
For example, if the patient is able to read till this line, his visual acuity is 6 by 12. If the patient is able to read only till this line, his visual acuity is 6 by 24. So it is the designation of the lines whichever the patient is able to read. But this is a very gross explanation. We have to know exactly what the denominator is. The denominator is the distance at which optotype would subtend 5 minutes of an arc at retina. 6 by 60 means at 60 meters the letters in this line will subtend 5 minutes of an arc at retina. 6 by 24 means at 24 meters the letters will subtend 5 minutes of an arc at retina. For example, this is 6 by 60 letter. We are placing the letter at 60 meters. At 60 meters, this whole letter will subtend a 5 minute of an arc at the retina. So if you take it as 6 by 24 letter, at 24 meters, this letter will subtend 5 minute of an arc at retina. So whatever the denominator is, at that distance, those optotypes will subtend 5 minute of an arc at the retina. This can be explained in another simple way. In 6 by 60, this 60 is the distance at which a normal eye can see the smallest letter red. That means at 60 meters, a normal eye can see that letter clearly. That if you want to explain it to the patient who is asking what this 6 by 60 means, we can say the letter which a normal eye can see at 60 meters, your eye is able to see only at 6 meters. Let me explain it again with another example. We are testing the visual acuity using Snellen chart. We have placed the chart at 6 meters. We ask the patient to read from top to bottom. The patient reads till this line, for example. The designation of this line is 6 by 24. So we record the visual acuity as 6 by 24. We note that 6 is the testing distance. The denominator 24 says that at 24 meters, the letters in this line subtend an angle of 5 minute of an arc at the retina. If a normal eye can see this letter at 24 meters, the eye which we are testing can see the letter only at 6 meters. I hope everybody can understand this concept. If you have any doubts, you can put it in the comments box and I will clear it. We have come to the end of this session. If you want to know more about minimum angle of resolution, you can watch my previous video. My next session will be on Logma charts. If you want to get my videos instantly, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.